my name is Cindy Octaviani. I'm from language class, Negeri Satu Ambera Senior High School. Now I will tell you my unforgettable moment that I ever had in my life. And it's began in 17 October 2014. In my auntie house, I got a touchy moment and it makes me broken into pieces and hurt me so deeply. But I'm felt happy too and very thankful to God because he showed me something that I never know till I 17 years old. Okay? It started when I arrived at my house after I studied at the school. It was 6 o'clock and I'm very tired that day. So I go to take a bath and then I go to take I go to sleep. But suddenly I heard my auntie voice. I thought it's just my dream, but the truth is not my dream. The truth is my auntie was beside me in my bed. Yes, I'm very surprised, but I don't care because that day I'm too lazy to wake up. Uh, she tried to wake my, wake me up so hard, but I don't care. And then she go to take a bath, uh, and then she go to bathroom and take some water and splash the water into my face. Yes, it suggests to make me wake up because the water was so cold when the water touched my face. Um, my yes, when I open my eyes, I can see. My aunt was very angry with me. Uh, she she told me the reason why she the reason why she woke me up because I had to come her because my mother was looking for me. I was so confused because as I know my mother was in Jakarta. Yeah, I know live with my stepmother and my father. My father and my mother was divorced when I three years old. Okay, next, and I'm so confused because. If my mother was really looking for me, she will meet me in my house and then she will text me before if she really come to meet me. Yes. Uh, and then my and I try to positive thinking and I choose to come with my aunt. I feel something wrong because something wrong because when my aunt my aunt said to my father that I must come with into her house. I felt something wrong because what my aunt said to me was different with what my aunt said to my father. Yes, as I told I told you before, my aunt was my aunt asked me to come with her because my mother was looking for me. But when she told to my father because I had to come with her because my aunt have to explain me how to keep her house because the next day she went to Yogyakarta. Yeah, I feel something wrong there because yes, it was so confusing but I tried to positive thinking and then my aunt and I walked in a silence into her house. Yes, here we were in front of my auntie house. In front of my auntie house, I saw a man with army uniform and I saw a woman, I guess it she was 14 years old. I don't care who is them because I never met them before, so I keep walking. But suddenly my stop was stop. My step was stop because the woman ran to me and held me so tight. I just this is a awkward moment, right? Because who is she? I didn't know she, but she helped to me and and then a few minutes later, my shoulder was wet, become wet. Yeah, when I look the woman, the woman was crying. Yeah, uh, and then I look at my aunt. My eyes, my eyes send her a question signal. Who is she? Why she help me? Yeah, uh, so many questions flying and dancing into my brain. So I don't know her. Why she crying? Why she help me? When I look at my aunt, my aunt crying too. Yes. I, I so confused and then, and then the woman look at look at me and she crying and and something that come out from her mouth it's make me so surprised. Yes, she tell me, look at my beautiful daughter. I just was very confused what she mean to me and then I asked her what she mean to me why she said that I was her daughter and then she and then suddenly she said 
apologizing to me. She tell me that that I was her daughter. I was born from her womb, and when I three years old, when I three years old, and when I three years old, she gave, she gave me to my father because she had a difficult economy and she had a difficult economy and she can grow me out. I just feel it's the stupid reason, right? If she if she will my mother. She will never heartless and throw me up like that. And then I just feel like I I am want to cry. And why is she so why is she so heartless? Give me to another another people. Yeah, I was angry with her. I was and then she. I just I just asked her why she come to me she meet me just now when I 17 years old and I become younger and she said to me that she said the truth she so she said she apologized to me because because when she never meet me because after my father was married get married again he did not allowed me to meet my real mother but until now, my father never tell the truth. Who am I? And I feel so. It's a surprise for me because the man who grew me up, the man who who I live with until I seventeen years old is not my father. I'm just adopt adoptive daughter for her, for him. And my mother was crying and hugged me, and I'm crying too because I know the truth is. I'm very angry but I'm so happy because she still want to meet me, she still want to find me, she still want to looking for me. Yeah, I'm very thankful to God. Yes, I I know who am I, who the real I who the real I am. And then it was I think it was touchable beautiful night for me. Okay, it and it was 11 p.m. and I know it's become very night and then I have to come back to my house. And before that, before that, I asked to my mother until when she until when she spent her days in Ambarawa and she said until 19 October. So I still have two days to meet my mother in Ambarawa. Yes, when in 18 October 2014 I had a taekwondo competition so I asked her to accompany me in taekwondo competition and then yes she agreed with my request so I feel so very very happy I can spend the, I can spend the time with my mom uh, I went to home I have her for the last for the last time and then I go to my home yes I was my face and then I go to sleep and I, before then I pray to God I'm very thankful to him because he showed me who really I am okay and the next day in 18 October 2014 yes I get a, a take on the competition it was 6 a.m. and I go to Bumi Perkemahan Ungaran in Ungaran when I arrived at Bumi Perkemahan Ungaran, I saw a woman in in the gate in the gate of Bumi Perkemahan Ungaran. Yes, she's my mother. My mother was waiting for me, so I ran to her and I hug her. I'm very very happy because she because because she really come to me and then yes I. I have a, I had a taekwondo competition and after that I take a rest and I and I meet my mother again and and I sit down in, in under a tree I sit down under a tree and I lay in in my mother arms and then she tell me who will she tell me how when I was baby 
this, I lay down in her arms and I and I already smile because I heard her story how when I when I was still baby. I try to not to cry because it's time to happy, not it's time not to sad. And then uh, I think I I must have a memory with her, so I asked my friend to take a picture. Take a picture of my mom and I and then I will show you. Wait. Yes, it is my mother and I went in taekwondo competition. Can you see? Yes, it was my mother and I in taekwondo competition. I just have that and then when the... Wait, and then when I have done with my taekwondo competition, she asked me to, she asked me to go in Ada salah tiga. Yes, she bought me, she bought me clothes, she bought me, she bought me anything. Yes, she bought me something like. Oh wait, this is this dress is for my mother. This dress is for my mother. Yes, it's become my favorite dress. My my favorite dress because it's very comfortable to me. And then it's comfortable jersey. See, my favorite. Club. Yes, this year comfortable just jersey and the oh, comfortable red sweater, comfortable red sweater and very nice black skirt. See, sometimes I feel sad the it. It can make me remember. I, I, I had meet my mother. Yes, and then after we, after we went in, we shopping, we, we shopping, we get happy in ada Saltiga. I accompany my mother in food station in Ambarawa. It's time. It's it's her time to go to Sumedang. Yes. She had to come back to Sumedang. Yeah, it's very sad, but what can I do? And then the bus was coming, and she, and then she come into the bus and, and slowly leave the bus station. And I look at my mother. She crying again, but I try to smile and I say goodbye to to her. Yes, and then. The bus has gone away from my eyes. Yeah, it was very a nice moment in my life. I hope, I hope someday my mom, I hope someday my mom and I can meet again and we, we had a big family. We have it together and she will come to me and she help me so tight. I just want I spend my life with my real mother. I just want to feel her love. I just I just want like another child who live with her real mother. So Mom, I really really love you. However you are, whenever you are. And although you have thrown me up, it's fine. Because I really really love you. I miss you so much. And I hope someday, someday I will meet you again, and we'll be, we were, we will be a real family, a really happy family. It's between daughter and real mother. Okay, this is my unforgettable moment in my life. So thank you and goodbye.